Hi, today I'm here to share with you the skills and combos that Lone Knight Gunlancers use for raids. I'll do my best to cover each skill explicitly, especially the Gunlancers identity skill, the Z skill. As for PvP, I'll be covering that topic in a later video. Before we begin, I want to talk about Gunlancers identity skill, the Z skill first. The Z skill is a toggle skill that uses the shield gauge as fuel to apply a shield on your character. When the skill is turned on, you're immune to most forms of physical CC, such as knockdown, knockback, and paralysis or flinch. As a character themed around having slow charging damaging skills that would need to land on the front side of a boss, this immunity to CC is vital to effectively land your skills. However, unlike the blue gun lancers, our shield gauge depletes rapidly, so we will have to be careful with when and how we use it, as we can't just keep it on at all times. Generally, you want to have your shield gauge available before using your main combos for the CC immunity, and you want to use it during dangerous moments to survive, as the gun lancer's slow movement speed can hinder your ability to dodge fast attacks. Outside of these moments, you want to do your best to keep the Z skill toggled off. One tip for using the Z skill is, remember that any other forms of shield is applied on top of the Z skill. What this means is that you can use your other shield skills, such as Shout of Hatred and Nelasio's Energy, to effectively save on a lot of the shield gauge, as the shield from these two skills will deplete first before your Z skill shield when you take damage. Now let's move on to the actual combat skills. The Gun Lancer can equip up to 8 skills and an Awakening skill, and as a Lone Knight Gun Lancer, there's only a select few number of viable skills that we can actually use during raids. To begin, there are 6 mandatory skills that we have to take in order to be proficient or generally useful in raids. Those skills are Shout of Hatred, Bash, Surge Cannon, Charge Stinger, Dash Uppercut, and Nelasius Energy. These skills are the core skills of the Lone Knight Gun Lancer for PvE raids, and I'll explain in detail as to why for each skill. Shout of Hatred is an essential skill for just about any Gun Lancer build. This skill gives you a shield, taunts, gives you and your party a damage buff, and it is the only skill that fills up your shield gauge by a significant amount. The effectiveness of taunt varies for every raid, but some bosses are immune to this effect. But for bosses that is affected, you can use this skill to cancel a lot of the boss's attacks with animation. But taunt, again, is only one of the many benefits of this skill. One of the biggest reasons as to why this skill is so important for low knight gun lancers its damage boost from the third tripod, Open Weakness. As a DPS character that needs to aim for head attacks, this skill boosts your damage by a total of 12%. With the quick prep tripod and a bit of investment into swiftness, Open Weakness has a very great uptime. This is why most of your combos as a low knight gun lancer will open up with this skill. Another reason as to why this skill is so important is its ability to restore a large chunk of your shield gauge. As a low knight, your shield gauge depletes fast, but in order to charge up and land your slow attacks on the boss's face, having your identity skill, the Z skill, available is vital, and Shadow Hatred is a skill that will fuel it. When using this skill, you have to be careful as to not use it while you have your Z skill activated, as you won't gain any shield gauge when you use this with it turned on. Additionally, this skill has zero CC protection, which means that a simple basic attack from a boss or a mob can cancel this skill mid-animation, so you have to be careful when you use it. The recommended level for this skill is 10. The recommended runes are Rage or Focus. The Wealth rune does not really work with Shout of Hatred, because this skill's identity recovery comes from the tripod, and not the actual skill's hit itself. The next skill on this list is Bash. Bash is another essential skill for every Gun Lancer build. It is a steroid of your DPS, and you should never waste an attack skill such as Surge Cannon or Charge Stinger without proccing Bash first. The two tripods that you have to take are Armor Destruction and Ready Attack. These two tripods effectively make Bash an insane damage steroid for 5 seconds, which is more than enough to land your Surge Cannon and Charge Stinger. The skill also has a very short cooldown, so the defense debuff will most likely always be applied on the boss, increasing the overall damage of your party. However, the skill has a major downside, and that is its ridiculously short range. There's a tripod that increases this range, but it's generally not recommended to waste your skill points to reach level 10 of this skill. So get a feel of its range and try your best to get used to it. The recommended level for Bash is 7. 
The recommended rune is Rage or Bleed. Surge Cannon is a bread of Lone Knight Gunlancers. This skill makes up for about 30 to 35% of your overall DPS. It is a nuke with a high cooldown, so it's very important to use this skill as carefully as you can. If you miss, fail to land a head attack, or the skill doesn't crit, you lose out on a massive chunk of your overall damage. This is also the biggest reason as to why the supercharge engraving is so important. One thing to keep in mind is that during the animation of the skill, your character will be recoiled backwards. You can sometimes use this to your advantage to reposition and land tricky headshots. This skill is also used for general mobbing in places like the Chaos Dungeon. Take Scattershot and Rotating Bombardment in your set. The recommended level for this skill is 10, and the recommended rune is Galewind. If Surge Cannon is the bread of the Lone Knight Gunlancer, Charge Stinger is the butter. This skill deals nearly identical damage as Surge Cannon, has the same amount of cooldown, and is also a charge skill to head attack modifier. However, instead of shooting in place and being recoiled backwards like the Surge Cannon, Charge Stinger shoots your character forward. You can use this to your advantage to cover ground, attacking the boss from a distance. The recommended level for this skill is 10, and the recommended rune is also Gale Dash Uppercut is your primary counter skill. Not only does it shoot your character forward, it has a very long range. The skill also does not have a long wind-up animation, making it a fast and effective skill for general counter. Later, when more endgame raid contents come out, such as Baotan, countering becomes a very important mechanic, where failing to counter at specific moments could hinder your chances of beating a raid. At skill level 10, the skill makes up for about 10% of Lone Knight's overall DPS, but if you're running short on skill points, Level 4 or 7 is fine, but you can still use it for the attack buff and general countering purposes. The recommended level for this skill is 4, 7, or 10 depending on how much skill points you have available. The recommended rune is Galewind, Overwhelm, Judgment, or Conviction. Also, please note that Dash Uppercut's attack buff does not stack with Bash. Nolasia's Energy is your main party skill, and this skill is a big reason why Gunlancers are a party favorite for raids and dungeon runs. With the proper tripod setup, this skill will apply a shield on you and your party members and grant a significant amount of damage reduction buff. Depending on the tripod you select, this skill can also remove CCs off of you and your party, making it a great utility skill for all content. Generally, the tripods that you want to take with this skill are set in stone, Quick Prep to reduce its long cooldown, Shadow Purification for effectiveness for clutch saves, and Survive for its shield. The recommended level for this skill is 10, the recommended rune is Focus, to reduce its high mana cost. Now, let's talk about the optional skills that you can use for the remaining two skill slots. There are three skills that you can choose from, Fire Bullet, Gun Lance Shot, and Counter Gun Lance. We'll begin with Fire Bullet. Fire Bullet is a low damaging skill that can be used like your basic attack due to its tripod that can reduce the skill's cooldown on hit. Because of this unique trait, this skill can accumulate a lot of damage over time despite its low base damage. This also means that this skill is a large portion of your overall stagger damage and part break. Since most of your other skills have a much longer cooldown, Fire Bullet is a skill that you can spam during the moments when you don't have your other DPS skills available. This skill makes up for about 10-15% to of the Lone Knight's overall damage if used correctly with the Lucky Chance tripod. But do note that if you spam this skill in an uncontrolled manner, you will run out of MP at a rapid pace. So if you're at a low level or you don't want to use your resources on purchasing meals for the mana recovery buffs, you can opt out of Fire Bullet and use other skills. The recommended level for this skill is 10, and recommended rune is Quick Recharge, Bleed, Judgment, or Conviction. The next optional skill is Gunlance Shot. This is the third strongest red skill that the Lone Knight has access to. The skill is also a charge skill if you use the Close Explosion Tripod, so this skill will benefit from your supercharge engraving. With the Nimble Movement Tripod and Galewind Rune, this skill has a relatively fast animation. Additionally, due to its low cooldown, this skill makes up for a decent chunk of your overall DPS. 
This skill makes up for about 15% of your total damage. The recommended level for this skill is 10, and recommended runes are Galewind, Judgment, or Conviction. The final optional skill is Counter Gunlance. This skill is more of a defensive skill than an offensive one. Counter Gunlance provides a 100% of your maximum HP in damage negation, and during the animation, you're immune to nearly all forms of CCs, making it a very effective clutch skill for dangerous moments. Additionally, with the Ready Attack Tripod, this skill can buff up your damage when you don't have Bash or Dash Uppercut available. Another advantage of using this skill is that you don't need to dump a lot of your skill points on this skill, as the second and third level of this skill's tripods are mostly damage oriented. But once you become skilled with the Lone Knight Gun Lancer, the skill is generally not recommended to take as it doesn't contribute to your DPS as much as the other skills on this list. The recommended level for this skill is 4 or 7, and the recommended rune is Protection or Iron Wall. Now, let's talk about the Gun Lancer's Awakening skills. Currently in Lost Dark, every class has two Awakening skills to choose from. As for the Gun Lancer, we have one Defensive Awakening skill and one Offensive Awakening skill. But generally, the first one, Guardian's Protection, is more useful. Since Low Knight Gun Lancers do not invest into the specialization stat, we can't expect to deal a lot of damage with the Awakening skill alone. However, Guardian's Protection provides us with a lot of utility to land our main DPS skills. This skill will fully recover your shield gauge on use, provide a damage reduction buff, and an immunity to all forms of CCs while we're inside the skill's range. Lance of Judgment's critical hit chance buff could be useful, but Guardian's Protection just offers a lot more for us. Now let's move on to the PvE combos. There isn't actually too much to talk about here, as our skill kit is very simple. As explained above, you want to always open up your combos with Shout of Hatred and Bash, as you'll lose out on a massive chunk of your damage without them. The basic combo is Shout of Hatred, Bash, Surge Cannon, and finally into Charge Stinger. This way, you will apply all your damage amplification buffs before landing your primary damaging skills. However, if a boss is frantic, and you're uncertain that you can land both Surge Cannon and Charge Stinger on the boss's head, simply land Surge Cannon, then wait for the Bash's cooldown to reset, and use Charge Stinger separately. As for the other skills on this list, use them whenever your Surge Cannon or Charge Stinger is on cooldown, and use Bash often as possible to consistently buff your damage, and apply the defense debuff on the boss for the benefit of your party. And that will be the end of this video. And always, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Your meta and the meta that we have here in Korea are very different, so you might find another skill that isn't on this video useful for a dungeon at your level. Additionally, you're still in the early stage of the game, so you should try all of the skills and find out for yourself why some skills are lackluster when compared to the others, so you can understand the class better and get a good grasp of the class's mechanics. And remember to always ask if you have questions.